Hi everybody, now with DAISY update 1.14 and the introduction of toxic zones, both static and dynamic ones, there's going to be a uh, increased demand on your private community servers for Xbox, PlayStation and PC for NBC PPE. <laughs> Try and say that with your teeth in. Um, so you're going to want to have more hazmat suits, you're going to want to have more gas masks, you're going to want to have more gas mask filters, and you're going to have, you're, you're going to want to have more of the injector, the anti-tox injector that um, heals you should you get into trouble in a toxic zone. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video, how to add more of those items so without further ado let's dive into the types that xml for 1.14 now remember i am working with the experimental files in this video uh, when, when, when 114 comes out for public this might be a little bit different but it's probably going to be kind of be similar going to use the same same names and stuff like that now the first thing we're going to play around with but the first thing we're going to add more of is the actual nbc clothing and luckily it's a really easy one so if you just open up the types xml in your favorite text editor this is notepad plus plus and we just do a search for nbc it takes us straight to the nbc clothing uh, section because it all starts nbc nbc boots nbc boots nbc gloves nbc um hood that sort of stuff so you can they're all together they're all together so it's fairly easy to play around with now if we have a look there's really two different types of nbc stuff there's the gray stuff and the yellow stuff the gray stuff is tier 4 military which that means it'll only spawn up in the top left hand corner of Chernerus in like Tizzy and Northwest Airfield. Um, that, that sort of place. Um, now the yellow stuff is firefighter stuff. So it will spawn all over the map um, in fire stations. So that's, that's pretty cool. But as we can see here, if you're playing this full screen, which you should be, you'll see that the nominals are really low for all of this stuff. The boots, for example, there's only a nominal of two. Now, the flags, luckily, there's only one flag against it, which is count in map, which is one, which you'd always leave. <laughs> Don't take that off. Otherwise, you end up with trouble with triples with loads of them spawning in. But it's also not counted when people put them on or put them in their backpack or put them in a in a in a tent or something like that. So that's good. So as so soon as someone picks up some NBC boots grey, another one will spawn, but there's still only two. So let's start off with the NBC boots grey and let's change it. So let's put the uh, let's put the nominal up to ten. So there should be ten of them on the server. Let's put the minimum up to eight. So as soon as we get down to eight, the game starts spawning them back in. Quant min, quant max, ignore that. That's used on things like um, magazines for weapons to say the percentage that they should be full of or bottles of drink, that sort of thing. Cost is 100. You can, you can ignore that. We'll keep the flags the same. Category clothes, tag equals floor, usage equals military. Kind of understand, understand that. However, I'll tell you what, let's make it slightly easy to find them. So let's add another value so let's copy the value let's paste it in above and let's put tier 3 as well so now we're going to have more of the boots spawning in and they're also going to be spawning in in tier 3 locations so more towards the middle of the map that, that sort of idea now let's have a look at NBC boots yellow now as we can see only six of them spawn in with the minimum of four so let's put that up to ten let's put the minimum of eight, Ooh, not eighty-nine. You don't want that. Um, and these are found on the floor, you know, or in medics and firefighter places. Sorry, so they're found in uh, medic locations. So that would be the clinics and the hospitals as well. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? I think that that's quite. It, it makes sense that the yellow ones you would find in that location. You know, when when the people of Chernus and Livonia were trying to deal with these the zombies, probably, and then deal with these um, toxic. Um, artillery or airstrikes that are coming in so you would use that technique to go through and change all of the nbc stuff to, to however you want it now the next thing you want is the um gas masks now in the description below this video i will put the names for all of these so you can find them easy because they're not always obvious but the first one we're going to look for is the airborne mask this is a cool one so let's go back to the top control f paste find next so there's the airborne my gas mask so the airborne gas mask as we can see um there's meant to be 10 of them with a minimum of eight they're found 
in hospital places, so medic places, and firefighter places, so uh, fire stations. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, the fact that it's there. So you may well want to increase, let's say we increase that to, say, 20 of those. And we increase the minimum to 15. I'm happy they're in medic and firefighter places. Those sort of places are easy to find. So I don't really want to change the usage at all. So that's cool. Um, and then the next one we want to look for is the GP5 gas mask. So if we copy that. Go to the top. Control F. So the GP5 gas mask. There's normally 10 of them. A minimum of 8. And it's found in military locations, tier three and tier four. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's fine. Maybe we want a few more. Let's put 20 of them in. Let's put a minimum of 15. Um, but yeah, so they're found towards the middle of the map and then up into the northwest corner. And then we've got the ord, just the gas mask. So let's copy that one. Let's find this one. There we go. The G, uh, oh, no, it's not that one, sorry. Gas mask, there we go. So this is the ordinary gas mask. There's only 10 of them with a minimum of eight. However, this is found in all military locations. So military locations, tier one, tier two, and tier three. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, let's say though, we wanted to add it to somewhere else. Um, Let's have a look. So these are all the different categories of places that you can have. Coast, farm, firefighter, hunting, industrial, medic, military, office, police, prison, school, town and village. Let's imagine that actually um, gas masks were, were used. In fact, they probably would be. Gas masks would be used in industrial areas, wouldn't they? When you're doing welding, I suppose you don't put a gas mask on, do you? But there could be some industrial stuff that you were doing. Um that would require a gas mask, dealing with nasty chemicals and things like that. So let's go back to our file and let's just put, uh, let's just paste that in there. So I've just put industrial. So what we'll do is if we just copy military, let's put in a space there and let's copy or we'll cut that out. There we go. Let's add a few more. Let's put 20 of them in with a minimum of 15. Now, what's interesting about this gas mask is that it does have a quant min and quant max. And this will relate to the filters that are already in it. So what it's saying is when you spawn this gas mask in, because it's got the built-in filters, let them have a capacity that's left for it to be able to use for between 20% and 100%. So what you could do, we could say actually, let's have it between 80 and 100. So these these gas mask filters are always um, good to go, if you like. So what we've done there is we've added more gas masks. Um, we've got 20 of them. We've cruised them into 15. We can see there's only a flag of counting map. Um, and we've added them to industrial areas as well as military tier one, tier two, and tier three. Now, related to the gas mask filters, gas mask, sorry, is the gas mask filters, which lucky enough is straight underneath. As you can see on the entire map, there's only over 20 of them. That's not many, is it? So let's bang that up to 40. Let's change the minimum to 20. Let's change the minimum, the quant min to 80. So when they spawn in, they're going to spawn in pretty good. And it is found on clothes and shelves in medic and firefighter locations. Interesting, interesting. Um, I would be tempted to also add to that. Let's copy that out. Let's put another usage in. And let's put a usage of military. Let's put that in there. There we go. So we've increased the number of gas mask filters. We've increased the map nominal. We've increased the minimum. We've made them so they spawn in um, with more life left in them. And we've added them not only to... They're, well, they're in the medic places. They're in the, the, the hospital places. And they're in the fire stations. And we've also added military to them as well. So that's good. 
So the final thing we really want is the anti-chem injector. This is the item that you uh, that's the, like an EpiPen that you inject when you're sick with chemical poisoning or toxic poisoning or whatever, whatever this thing is. We're not really sure what it is. Pretty sure it's a biological agent. Well, actually no, it's a chemical agent, isn't it? Because it makes you bleed and makes you ill at the same time. So it's pretty nasty. So let's, let's find that. It's not nuclear. We know, we know it's not nuclear. So there it is, anti-chem injecting. Now, I, I think... <laughs> I think this is a mistake that there's only one in the one in the map at the same time. Um, that that doesn't really make sense for to only have one. But hey, they might be doing it like that. So, um, so let's put twenty of them in. Um, and its lifetime is, is we don't worry about that. Uh, flags count in map one, count in player one. So as soon as somebody's got one, you're not going to get another one. So let's change that to zero. It's tool shelves. Now it's only found in the contaminated area. Well, that's a bit. That's not very nice, is it? Because the problem in, is with the contaminated areas. Yeah, sure. You've got the fixed ones, like where the ship is in the uh, up by the northeast coast in Chernus. But you also have dynamic ones, don't you? You might get caught out. So let's copy that. Um. So let's also, we're putting in two more usages. And what we're going to do, what do you think? I think it, you should find them in military areas, and I think you should find them. Actually, there's three places where I think you should find them. I think you should find them in military areas. I think you should find them in medical areas. And I think you should find them in... Um, firefighter areas as well so let's go to our list so what we got uh, military let's copy that and then we've got medic And then we've got um, firefighter, we said, didn't we? There we go. I think that's fair. I mean, you probably wouldn't have that sort of anti-chem injector in an industrial area because these sort of things, these sort of anti-toxins, they're, pre they're pretty nasty anyway. And if you take one and you haven't got toxin or or some sort of chemical poisoning, they can they can make you very very well uh, ill indeed. So I think it kind of makes sense that they, you would only find them in military, medic, and firefighter places, places where they would be specialists who would be trained to how to to use these. Whereas you would find a gas mask, wouldn't you, in an industrial area because you can't really do that much uh, do that much wrong with them. So there we go. The NBC PPE. We've looked at how to add more. Uh, NBC uh, suits and the stuff like that. We've had learned how to add more gas mass, gas mass filters, and the anti chem injector too. So save the file, upload it to your uh, server, restart it. Now remember, at the moment, until one one four goes live on on public servers and on private servers, this won't work. It only works on experimental. But hopefully, by the time you come to watching it, watching this one one four and beyond is live. And you'll be able to have some fun in these very nasty toxic zones. Anyway, that's enough from me. Put any questions and comments you've got that in the uh, section below the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.